So today I'm gonna to be going over how to make a fried turkey sandwich. Now this is a Thanksgiving and chill moment, more than just a regular Thanksgiving. So what I'm gonna make first here is the tan zong. Now the tan zong is just this paste that we're gonna make before we make our actual bread mix. It's a little slurry. This is what's gonna make the bread so much softer. Now you may have noticed I'm not using any measuring cups or anything. I like just to put my stuff on a scale and put the pan on there and then I could just dump all my stuff in there. This is why I think scales are so much more accurate and also easier to use. I also pretty much always keep my yeast in the freezer, lasts way longer. Uh, so right now I'm just gonna be mixing this guy on high speed for about 10 minutes and I'm gonna add this butter piece by piece. Now uh, we just wanna Okay, so once we've got this all mixed up, put this into a bowl that can handle the size of it doubling. Cover this with plastic wrap or a towel. Let this proof at room temperature of about 30 minutes to an hour. It all depends on how warm it is in your house. I have a proofer, so it takes me 30 minutes in the proofer at around 80 degrees Fahrenheit. So if you got one of those, go for it. It might take you an hour. And then once it's fully proofed like this, you're gonna wanna go ahead and put it in the fridge for about 30 minutes so this can chill a bit because it's gonna be very hard to work with it. It's gonna be very wet, if I should say. It's a very wet dough because of all that butter. So you wanna chill this and then it'll be very easy to work and shape into your different dough balls. These are very nice brioche buns as well. Now, this brings me to today's sponsor of the video. Not only am I using everything you see here from Fred Meyer Kroger, but uh, also they have these really nice brioche private selection buns. Uh, if you don't wanna go through all the trouble to make your own buns like you see here today, these are really nice, really good, awesome thing to learn. But if you just don't have the time, cause I mean, let's face it, holiday time, you're probably cooking a lot of things. Uh, you can go ahead and use these really nice private selection buns. I would highly recommend these as a second choice or even your first choice. So what I'm doing right here is I flatten the dough out into a little disc and then I just pinch it into itself to form a ball. Then I flip that ball over and you see we have a smooth surface. And then I'm just gonna sort of roll it around, massage it into the table gently so we can create some tightness in the dough. Voila. 
a nice smooth round ball. And now we're just gonna let these proof for one more time for about 15 minutes. And you wanna make sure that your oven is preset to 375 degrees Fahrenheit while these are proofing so they're ready to go. Now you can go ahead and use a brush for brushing the egg wash onto the buns before putting them in the oven. Um, honestly, that, that'll do, but I feel like it's not very gentle on the buns and sometimes it can sort of mess it up. So uh, I got this at the store as well from Fred Meyer. You can just put it into a little squirt bottle like this and it sprays on perfectly. Uh, yeah, this is a really easy way to do it. And also you don't ruin your bread. You don't have to be as careful. Now these go in at 400 degrees Fahrenheit, drop it down to 350 once it hits eight minutes, then let it go till golden brown. Now you can just go ahead and uh, let these cool off at room temp and then just make sure to cover them up. You can also do this with plastic wrap, throw them into a Ziploc baggie and uh, they should hold for like a week or two. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and move on to the turkey tenders part of this video. Uh, this one is so simple. Now I'm not going to go too far into detail because I just did a video on this so you can tap the link down below if you want to see how to make these turkey tenders in full detail. So I'm just throwing them into the dredge straight from the buttermilk and then I'm going to fry them off. That's going to be for our sandwich. Can't wait to try this one out. Mmm. Damn, that's good. Guys, this is really delicious. You gotta try this. Mmm. I don't know about you, but I like this more than just a regular roasted turkey this year. Also, if you wanna catch me making this live, I'm going to be making it live on Monday the 23rd on TikTok, so go ahead and head over to my TikTok, 5 p.m. Pacific time, Monday, 23rd. Hope you guys enjoyed the new format of this video, doing more ASMR style. Let me know what you think about that. Thanks so much to Fred Meyer and Kroger for sponsoring the video. All the stuff I got from there was used in this video. As always, let me know what you think. Comment down below, like the video, subscribe if you're new here, and I will see you in the next one.